Missouri, Missouri, but we'll take it. You know, compared to, well, of course, Christy and I were on the road last week, and it uh, looks like, uh, you know, we've, our numbers are down a little bit, but you guys make a lot of noise for not having very as many people. I like that. That's, that, show, that shows that the Lord's Spirit is here, and you know what that means, don't you? That means when we get ready to sing, they're going to be able to hear us all the way across the street, across the cow pasture and everything else, right? All right, let's, let's do it. All right. Good morning there, my dear brothers and sisters. Speaking of the uh, Holy Spirit, we're going to sing about just that with our first hymn, 328. If y'all please stand in honor of our Lord and Savior, sweet, sweet spirit. Hymns over uh, in the garden is 476. 476. <clears throat> I hear falling 
and I were with some of her friends last night and uh, happened to be a lot of uh, really nice looking couple, young couples going into the, what's the name, Fuji or something like that at the mall and um, was reminded that there's a lot of homecomings this past weekend. But it hit me that I just want to pray this morning for young people and their parents. Um, we, we raised children in one error, and now we're raising them in another error, and it's different. We'll just leave it at that. <laughs> and, um, you know, I know a couple weeks ago, Hallsville had their uh, homecoming. I, I just, there's just a lot. Um, and yet, it's not really different. It's different in how it comes about, but it's not really different. And so let's just, if you'll join me, let's just pray for parents and, 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 and kiddos as they uh, try to follow the Lord's instruction to raise up a child in the way they should go, and when they're old, they will not depart from him. Father God in heaven, we thank you for your word that, that gives us guidance. And I confess, I sometimes am exasperated with my kids, even though you say don't exasperate your kids, but... Um, so God, I pray for parents, first off, that uh, in the reality that we live in with, with them in communication with not only kids that they go to school with, but kids all over, <laughs> literally all over, um, and having friends in ways that I could never imagine having a friend when I was a kid, uh, I pray that, that you would give them wisdom. To know to put, how to put proper boundaries on that, how to help them navigate those situations, because it is a little different, but yet it isn't. Because in the end, your word clearly says, treat people as you want to be treated. And, um, and, and that's really kind of what we need to do, but sometimes that's hard in the midst of um, just kids lashing out at each other. Um, our whole world is just angry, it seems like especially this country, and so I think it has fallen to the kids a little bit, to the young people, that, that they have picked up on that. And they are angry at each other as well, and they, and they just say, so they say things that I just don't think they really even mean sometimes. And so God, give parents wisdom as they navigate all of that. And I just pray for the young people. I pray that there'd be a longing in their heart for you, because no matter what relationship they have, no matter how many followers they have, no matter how famous they are on TikTok, none of that is going to satisfy their soul. Right. Only you do that. And so God, as we hear of people, um, just young people, that think it's going to happen, but they find out it doesn't. It's not enough. Because God, only you are enough. And so I pray for the children that are connected to this church, directly and indirectly. I pray for them to just have a heart after you. God, you draw them to yourself. I pray for children all over, that, that we as a country and we as churches might, might really rise up and help them see that 
the only way they're going to have true joy and fulfillment in their life is if they live a life of faith following you. And so, God, that's our prayer. May this church just really think about how we can be in a, um, just a part, do our part in that. And so, God, I know part of that is even what we're doing today as we celebrate <coughs> sending things to kids all over the world. But uh, in the midst of doing that, I know we want to focus in on children here as well. And so, God, we thank you and just give us wisdom. It's in your name we pray. Amen. Well, do we have anybody this morning that wants to share a little testimony as how God's maybe working in their life? Pat's got one. She doesn't know it, though. You have your grandson that's the lineman. Jake. Jake. And how long has Jake been on the field down at the hurricane? A month. A month. Non-stop a no month. Reason. Yeah. Yeah. And so what a praise that he has been safe. Yeah. Yeah. And things at home are safe. Yes. Well, see? Has <laughs> <laughs> anybody else got a got a praise? Yeah. I just want to say uh, praises for Matt and Lee that came over last week. It took time out of our day and uh, we took off by Olga Butter Covers and they took her with my kids. <coughs> and I feel real blessed. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 That's awesome there. Would you recommend them to do other gutters for other people? <laughs> <laughs> thank you Matt thank you Lee for reaching out to your fellow Christians there at a time of need yeah and no more ladders for you right <laughs> anybody else did you have one like share some appreciation for our pastor you know he's got a full time job and he and, and a full-time family, and he still spends his Wednesdays and his Sundays with us. And you know, we can we can be kind of stoic at times, and yet, um, and, and he might he show, shows his emotion. And um, I, I just I get a lot out of his sermons, and I I think that uh, that we should show some appreciation every now and then. And, and you know, sometimes we don't. And um, so. That's all I got to say. How true. How true. Amen. Very true. Brother Gene, we have enjoyed your sermons. Very much. They're very heartfelt and, and, uh, and, a, and at a time when we need that. Another quick one? Okay. Let's keep saying it. All right. Well, dear friends, if you'd please turn to 344, hymn 344. Ancient words. Ancient but always relevant. Amen. 